So I think I, I think Putin's in a very delicate position here, um, particularly because now compared to 2014, the West is on top of it in the sense of making you know. Prof- Professor <laughs> Professor Cusio, uh, very briefly, if you can, is Vladimir Putin just playing politics? Is this saber rattling? Is he just waving his willy around? Well, um, I, I hope I don't have to see it, but um, certainly I think we should do a whip round on GB News for his anger management classes. But, yeah. but I think yeah. that he can't go away from this and save his face without doing something. Mm. He's got to do something. The question what, is, of what, course, we all don't know what. What, what, that, what might that something be, oh. Robert Fox? Because I'm curious what uh, US President Joe Biden will do. Is it the case as I've read this week, that Russia is now sanction-proof? Not necessarily so, because I think if it really goes wrong, they could face economic collapse. And that is the fear in Moscow, I I understand, where the the economy hasn't grown. Uh, The professor may correct me on this since 2000. If this goes on, he is in real trouble. He could go for a tactical gain and he could face he himself, with Putinism, whatever that is, and the Putin system, strategic defeat. To answer your question, I think you're absolutely right. It's the now you see me, now you don't, uh, allegedly uh, preached by General Gerasimov, the, 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 the head of the armed services. I absolutely agree with Professor Kusher. It will be non-obvious, and I think there will be a hit somewhere inside Ukraine, and it could be something odd in the Baltic, but my favourite is the Sea of Azov and somewhere around the coast where they can play a game, which Putin is actually superb at, where he plays the game of lawfare, using international law to turn it upside down and turn it into his favour, like close, closing off the Sea of Azov, as he's done recently, to say, uh, because there's live firing exercises happen- happen- happening out of, out of the Russian bases there. That, by the way since we're in Britain and for a British audience, will directly involve the Brits because we have a discreet naval understanding with Ukraine. That's what HMS Defender was really doing uh, when she had that little bit of theatre and fireworks off Crimea in the summer. And what do you think the timeline of this dispute might be, Robert? Do you see this one dragging on for months? I don't necessarily, because, because I agree with Professor Kushner. By the way, I want to add an addendum to what he said, which is absolutely spot on. He's got the wrong forces to occupy the, the, a major part of the territory of Ukraine. Those heavy, really rather heavy, rather out-of-date tanks. You don't fight guerrilla wars with them. Blimey, the Russians found that in that terrible decade in Afghanistan after, uh, after 1979. I think, though, that given the temperatures bringing things like helicopters forward, they don't like this weather. So I think that you will see them go forward. It will be a barn dance. And then he he will pull back because troops do not like being put into forward operating bases prepared for operations. You can only do it for two or three weeks at the most. So I think by the middle of February, we really will be able to do the big rain check on this this phase of the crisis. But this kind of crisis is going to, is going to go on as long as we've got Putin. Uh, the rhythm will change when he's gone. 